That right there. So friends, do you remember those stumps? We had a, hi big feller, hi. Oh my, oh hi there. Yeah, I know, you're not gonna eat the phone, are you? Look at how close you are. Yeah, I know, bud. So this is a Scottish Highland, Highland bull. And he's, he's a beast, he's got lovely hair. Doesn't he, friends? And uh, I remember last time I was here, I cut some trees down, it was actually a fun job, but there was who was the other guy was he he was a bit haywire was that him no that was adonis oh that yippee ki -yay. he was like yippee ki -yay was a female and she was as nutty as the day is long she was and she was limbing the trees for me but look at that yeah. beautiful animal friends and then the other ones that's her daughter down there vangeline yeah now these horns th this is just do they fall off and grow new ones like no no that's, that's it his, that's their horns he's just a young fella he's just over a just turned a year. Really? Yeah. How does such a beast get this big in one year? It's amazing. <laughs> anyway, so we have a, a specimen here, friends. I remember it when we... I have this specimen over here. No, what do we... Just stay where you are. Let me... Uh-oh, oh, coming at me? Oh, look at that thing. Greyhound. No, Borzoi. Russian wolfhound. You got the craziest animals on your property. <laughs> I like big hairy animals. I know you do. So that, that friends is leaning obviously hard the other way, but we did before we dropped the fence and dealt with it. So we'll be coming to look at that. And of course the birch trees are doing lovely, which was wonderful. Yeah, my, uh, Hi. My, uh, Hi there. Maggie. Hi Maggie. You just a baby too. Oh. There's old Finnegan. Oh Finnegan, I remember <laughs> Finnegan. Oh yes, I know. Absolutely. <laughs> so friends. The, the other day I was talking about um, my wedge pouch and how I get, it, it's more or less when I'm in and out of the truck or this and that, or taking a, you know, doing something with where I got to move the pouch around or whatever. Well, here's my, here's my pouch right here. It's like, it doesn't matter how you grab it now. Look, I can hold it right upside down. Look at, you see what I mean? So these are little things that, fallers or, or anybody a tin man for that matter anybody has their little things that they do and need to do with their rigging to make their life go easy at the work day right this is one of mine it's frustrating to me to have this i used to have a different pouch and it would work really good but as you'll notice my actually even my my i like my stuff a little lower than maybe the next guy and i'm freaking talking like i just well look at it Look at this sucker, and I'll show you something else to look at. See this? You see what I'm saying? You know how important that is right there? It's square and tough, and it's, look, that's what a wedge banger should be. So that's what I'm gonna, um, we're gonna fire up this power saw. Come on, bud. We gotta cut this tree down. You're in the way. You don't, you want to be part of this. You do not want to be part of this. Here, I'm going to chase you, go the other way. Let's go, come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. There you go, good, good animal, get going. There you go, keep going. There you go, keep going. There you go. Good guy. Keep going. Good. There's a good. They got the greatest peripheral vision. Come on. Keep you going. Come on. They turn their head. They see you sideways, eh? Yeah. Get going. I prefer not. Come on. It can be. It can be open, but. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come 
There we go. Now, <laughs> you just never know what you're getting into out here, old Buck and Billy Rays. <laughs> so, friends, this is a very interesting scenario. We've been here for years with, for, for Lisa, and she's doing a really, really cool thing, friends. She's building a place for folks to come and be with nature and be with the animals. And she's picked the right animals like goats and these kind of these Scottish coos, I guess they're called. But uh, it, it, it's really cool what she's doing. She's got a little like a, a, a country kitchen that she's built for people can just people who want to be peaceful and get out of the whatever they're in. You know what I mean? Just to go somewhere to relax and be with nature. There's a pond. There's a couple little cabins. But she she can't have people out with what she's got in the in the sky here, which is oh, that's perfect. A lot of this. It'd be nice if they stayed back there, though. <laughs> so I'll get cutting. Friends, good evening. How's everybody doing? I got my stand up and buck shirt on today, tonight. I'm, I'm trying to have this video ready for earlier in the day for us. But, so friends, this tree, <laughs> it is, it's wiped. It has no core. It's a shell. I have two options with this tree and, and neither of them are, are, are the greatest, like to put it. Neither of them are the greatest. And I didn't have high expectations either way. The cool thing is, is that it doesn't really matter where, what, where it goes. There's fences that are going to, they, they deal with this stuff all the time. The broken fence or, you know, changing things up. But what's interesting that happens is what happens. I, I, I won't tell you, but it, it, it's kind of crazy what actually happens here. The tree ends up. I'm not even going to say it. You can just watch. It was kind of interesting, actually, because it, it, it started leaving the stump, and I knew it would not go where I wanted it to, to try and hang on. It was rotten, and it was big. And the whole bottom side was, you'll see. But this is such a funny situation that happened, and we got to thank the tree gods on this one. And they work sometimes. They work a lot of the time, actually. But uh, this was a funny one. So I just wanted to warm you up for it. It's pretty interesting. But we, we'll go through the cut and get things going. And uh, yeah, it was either lay it down, which would have been a horrible mess in there where the animals are, right? Or try and shoot it up where I did. And this is very interesting. Watch what happens. I'll catch you in there. Let's get back in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. I'm going to, but I, the only place I don't want them when I start putting the back cut in is like over there anywhere. There's fine. So friends, we got a huge tree here and we got a lot of this. Yeah. They're probably going straight over there. I'll start cutting this thing up. It's in horrible shape, friends. They're, there's, they're everywhere dead maple cedar i'll fire up this saw and see if they kind of they go on their way on their merry way but i mean look what we got right you could see where it tried to heal right here that's a compartmentalization see up 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 but it goes right up there's like nests and but she she just she's done she can't have this stuff anymore so what i'm gonna do is instead of throwing it into yeah see these animals are coming over here again I'm going to shoot it for up there. It's a tough shot because it's rotten. But I think most of my good holding wood is over here. And you always judge your leans from behind the tree, which is here. Which you can see, it's got some school marm hanging off it. It's got a bit of weight going in this away. So I'm going to try and lay it across the path and up there. Whether it hangs on the stump, I do not know. But we're going to try it. So, but I want to get cut because these freaking animals... So I'm not even going to use uh, that dead piece over there. You know what I mean? I'm not even going to use it. I'm just going to go right there and start cutting. We got wind. 
gonna explain to you I'm gonna I'm gonna explain what's going on here okay now oh yeah here they come they always eh? you can't so look at look at this thing completely okay so but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a notch. Do you know what I mean by that, friends? I'll show you. Like, look at this, for crying out loud. Listen to it. It's terrible. Oh, you freaking animals. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna open this up. I don't want that to be convex like a sharp point. Now what I'm gonna do, well, I'll show you what I'm gonna do because it makes these travel better. Because soon as this falls, friends, this is gonna start to close and, and compress wood and make the wood tension at the back. I don't want that. So I'll show you what the fix is for that. I'm still building an undercut, so if you can, you're, you're good. You're good. So I'm gonna show you what, what we're gonna do here. Just watch what I do. I'm just gonna make the undercut. So it's kind of got a, one of these. I've showed this lots, actually. I've showed it a ton, as a matter of fact. You're all good. I'm still building my undercut, so don't worry about it. You got time.
So on the bottom side of this tree, friends, there is nothing. There's like nothing. There's not even a, there's nothing holding it up. Watch what happens. It just, it just crumbles. All this stuff just crumbles. So like I say, there was two shots. One was up high and one was down into the, where all the animals and oh, it would have been horrible. This thing is actually leaning to my left and across the path, actually. You'll see what happens. It's actually quite incredible. I'm shooting for the high side. Like, I'm shooting for right on the right side of that path right there is where I want the tree to land. There's a little creek that rolls through there. I want to span the creek and leave it long. <laughs> Because there's no sense in me just, I want you to understand what's happening. That is the low side of the tree. 
the high side is up there. That is the low side. And as we go up, you can see it. It's the low side of the tree. So I went under, I got all the wood. The guts are empty, so it doesn't matter. Still, you gotta make sure you got no posts hiding in there, okay? So another reason why I chose to go up this way is because most of the good holding wood in this tree, thank goodness, is on the high side. So everything's cut up except this. I have a feeling the tree is going to walk away. I may need to wedge it. I'm not sure. It could be hung in this alder and maple too. But I'm not cutting that maple down yet. See that big arm right there? I got to watch that. I can't hang around when that tree starts to leave. It'll break off and nail me. It's in the root system there. So and now I'm just going to finish up my high wood. That's the plan. And I want this tree to go alongside of that trail and over the creek. So let's do this, let's try it. I don't care if we hit that fence over there. It's a, I, I, even, I don't even think we're going to. But get ready and listen. We got everybody over there. Now's when a guy looks up. He doesn't look at his kerf, he looks up and listens. Take a headphone off and listen. thing just cave oh, oh. and we took that maple down oh, too which oh. is good <laughs> oh, oh. I love it look oh. at this oh. look at this friends look at that thing so you see that great big post it it broke off the stump friends but it actually ended up bouncing where we wanted it and didn't hit the back fence Look at this. Here, here's our holding wood right here. There was nothing over there. This is what was holding us right here. It had so much down weight, no wood whatsoever in here. None. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Just nothing. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they can go. You're not doing anything else? I'm going to buck all this off here. But, but they don't doing anything that requires no okay friends so this worked out absolutely incredibly flukily wonderful like seriously i knew that we were taking a chance here but here were my two options here were my two options down there which is where all the you know where we just chased and all this you know what i mean that's what was in the lay of this this snag was all that so the open hole was there <clears throat> well the maple that it hit, which was right there, was coming down after this, and it happened to be the tree that saved us out. And <laughs> rolled us right back down, because the plan was to have this log lay a high side on the trail, on the, on the bench here, this little bridge. And friends, uh, I gotta be honest, we fluked out incredibly. And look at the fence. There's, all they gotta do is pull the freaking wire back up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's this kind of fence. Look at, there, it's everywhere. They do this all the time because they've got a bad tree zone in here. So they're used to this. So, so I got lucky, just plain and simple got lucky. Okay with it because we fluked out, but look at this. Look what we get to do now. I'm just gonna nurse this down so it drops down this way because they got goats and animals. I don't want them headbutting this thing and getting killed. So I'm just gonna rest it back 
Just watch as I go in here. Watch what'll happen as I go in here. Watch that tree. It'll settle. Watch, I'll do it real quick. <laughs> Anyway, so we've got, I told you about that alder back there, right there. I was very cognizant of it as I was following the cedar and pulled out of there. So, but now because of the fence and everything up, uh, I'm going to send both of those and I'll show you how we're going to do that. <laughs> Every scenario is different, friends. You notice I put the undercut in the strong tree. So I put the undercut in the maple here. There it is, right where we wanted it. Um, but I put the undercut on the maple first, but I didn't put the back in. I wanted it to be a solid post for this thing because it was completely rotten. Look at it. It's just dust. And oh, look at that, termites. Look at that. Yeah. So, there we go. Done. So, that's that. So, now, we got a great big ball. Okay, friends. So, I was actually going to slash that tree out of there. And the reason I was going to do that, actually, I'll show you. This tree's leaning back. I'm gonna have a hard time banging this tree. I'm gonna have to bang either left-handed or, look at the lean on this thing. Look at it. It's leaning back up here towards Myrtle and the wrong way completely. I'm shooting for that stump right there. <laughs> well, friends, you know, sometimes you gotta make a call where the worst, the least amount of damage is gonna happen, right? Let's put that light on old buck in here so we can see what's happening. Sorry. Um, but, and now we got this ball. There's a bunch more work here. There's the fur that I showed in the beginning of the Amazing. video. <laughs> anyway, so we have a, a specimen here, friends. I remember it when we... Have this specimen over. No, what do we... Just stay here. That's... Do you guys remember that site before when I was there? With the balsam and the 394? It was a great video. I was bucking. You should actually check it out, friends. I'll see if I can find it on here. But it was, I was slipping them in between sheds and they, it was a good job. I really enjoy this work, friends. It's, this was such a good thing for me to get into when I decided to. I just, it's funny, you know, I started cutting firewood. Like I just, all I knew was I, I wanted to live on a saw. That's all I knew when I got my head together, right? It's 27 years old. And uh, yeah, I went from firewood to falling. That doesn't happen very often. I just went, but no, I got to get in. I, I got to 
I got to create firewood. I got to get, I find these jobs where I need to create firewood, like farmers where they needed a bunch of wood down or a, a patch of maple that people wanted down but didn't want to log. You know, just little scenarios like that. And I just flew in and just started falling, <laughs> flying by the seat of my pants. So I really enjoy the work. Anyhow, that's it, friends, for this video. We got that balsam coming up next. And then there's more work here yet. And uh, winter's coming. My boy's in camp. My wife's healthy. Rita's doing great. We're all happy. And I am so, so happy to make content for you folks. And if we can somehow along the way better each other, make each other feeling all right about life, work together on, on making the world better for the next generation coming up, then that's, that's what I want to be doing and help you with your cutting. And if I can help with anything, that's what I'm here for. So I'm really enjoying the uh, building videos for you folks. And I'm enjoying the new people that are coming in. I see the new subscribers coming in daily. And I want to thank YouTube. YouTube, you probably won't see this video, but if anybody's watching this video who's working at YouTube, or 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 please thank YouTube from Buck and Billy Ray if you're if you're maybe monitoring this video or looking at this video for some strange reason, YouTube, hear me right now. Thank you. Sincerely, YouTube, you've, you've changed my life so much and I see nothing but good here. So thank you all so much. Friends, I love you. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. We'll catch you on the next one. Over and out.